Hey. Did you see that message? Uh, what message? Get on messenger. Did you see yeah. Uh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking so bad I can't sit still. Oh yeah. <sighs> Looks liver to me. So either I'm, uh, I'm gonna go down and see if I can find my air. Thirty-two yards. Do what? I don't know if my limb caught something or what. I, I don't know. I could have. I could have, but I knew he was coming. I had a, a doe and a little one in the corn here. And uh, they looked down the hill and immediately just took off running like, like he had been shot. It wasn't five seconds and he showed up. Big old rascal. My gracious, he's a toad. Folks, it is October 22nd, and I have a little bit of a dilemma in that most of my shooters have disappeared. And uh, I think what I'm looking at is I'm moving to a different stretch of this farm. It's a piece of the farm that I've not hunted before, but I just uh, did a little, did a little scouting today, put a couple miles on the ground, and what I found is behind me you'll see this old logging road. And in this logging road is probably a dozen to 15 scrapes. It's, uh, it's starting to heat up. Uh, the, the bucks are clearly cruising. The pre-rut's getting ready to kick in the gear. And you know, obviously that's why my bucks have disappeared. So what I'm looking at is I'm going to drop a little groceries here and um, top it off with a little deer candy and just take inventory of what's here. Clearly there's something here uh, that's, that, that likes this area. Uh, and it's a it is a pretty unique area, you know off to my side here. This is all uh, mature timber uh, a lot of hardwoods The acorns are dropping good this year on this side of the farm is nothing but clear-cut and Anybody that's ever hunted uh, a piece of property. that has been timbered. You know what kind of Pandora's box you can get into with the bedding situation there So what I'm looking at is probably Realistically a solid transition area between bedding and food here uh, 
this this property line here that exists there's a couple pieces in the fence that are down that they're using for crossings and like i said the, the scrapes are pretty active right now so i'm gonna drop the groceries and uh come back in three or four days and, and take inventory and see what we got here maybe we have a shooter maybe we don't but
just come out of nowhere. Just come out of nowhere. Man, I have to go back and look at the footage. That did not look good at all. Uh, did not look good at all. <sighs> Thank you. You got a body? I got a body. All right. Good hand. No hand. That's the problem. Body over here, no head. Got Chad, come around this drain right here and come right on top of it. Can you check the ribs off? We'll hear a second. It's a big body. Hooves don't look that big. I mean, I wonder if they dry up, kind of like what your your chew toys do, like what you make for um, your dogs to chew on, how they shrivel up and stuff. Right. Let me see how how they been. This would be this. That should be the entrance side. Got a cut be. right there. Yep, right there. Where's that other rib at? Right here. Check that out. It's broke off right oh. there. That's it's it. Here's, here's the other slice. There it is. Right there. She'd have been moved over just a shade. She'd have, the way that broadhead deployed. Yep. I mean, that's a clear slice, and that's, well, that's a clear slice too. It didn't bust it out. Wow. I that's, believe that's in. That's I think in. so. Yeah. We, uh, we have to find a head here somewhere. I'm wondering, it's just, I mean, just me thinking out loud here. I mean, I know how I'd be. That gas well's right up here. And there's a four wheeler pass you right see there. That, yeah, you see that road where he comes in and check that well. Yeah. He's in a gas truck. Uh, he's exactly right. I bet you $2 to a donut. He's, the gas man's got it. Can him. you get a number? Yep. We, uh, um, here's a story. I, I shot a whopper of a deer uh, out of Meadows uh, this past fall and, and lost him. Uh, anyways, I got uh, got a group of friends to come out with me today and we found this deer not more than a, not more than a hundred yards from where I shot him, but he's, but he's missing the head and he's laying right almost right in the middle of a, of a gas well road here where he goes to check the well. Well, I would have if I was him. I mean, we're talking 100, we're talking probably 145 inch eight point. Um, he's a pretty good boy, though. And I mean, if he's got it, is he going to cough it up? Okay. Okay. Do you, do you, excellent, excellent. He's, uh, uh, he's a man we need to find there uh, today. Do you have a number for him?
Okay. All right. All right. Good deal. If you don't care, send her to me there. We uh, we need to find that old boy there today. He's got the key to the lock here. He's, he or his wife's got it. So that. <laughs> good deal. I asked him. I said, "Don't." If, if, is any if he's got it? Is he the kind of guy that's gonna cough it up? He said, "Yeah, probably so. He's just a good old boy." Well, that's good. Yeah, he's. He's probably a little better than I am because I don't know if I'd turn loose of 145 inch head. Oh, you would. If, some, huh? if a hunter called you and for the right after price. all of this time, <laughs> after all this time, was like, hey, I'm trying to put this deer together, you'd be like, oh, all right. I just, I, I, the story I, behind it, though, I think I would probably call it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ever to find the button to hit on this thing because I was like, it's tangled up. Okay. It's so I don't pocket dial people. No, I was looking for that. I couldn't find it. static in the line. Come on, buddy, answer the phone. Right. Hello, is this Jesse? Yeah. Hi, Jesse. This is Ross Mellinger. I'm calling from Ravenswood. How you doing? Good, buddy. Good. Hey, uh, Colby Pepper gave me your number, and I uh, hate, hate to bother you, but I need to, doing some doing some checking on some stuff here today. You got just a second? I said, Col Colby Pepper gave me your number, and um, I'm working on something here today. He said to give you give you a shout. Do you uh, you still run the whales out there at uh, the Fox Farm at Meadows? Yeah. Okay. Um, I had uh, I had stuck a monster of an eight point back in the fall, and we just found the body today. But it looks to, appears to be laying almost almost right in one of your roads out here to the well. Any chance you had, any chance you saw that deer? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, j j just out of curiosity, you got the head on it? Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Outstanding. Well, I, I got I got to ask you, buddy, what kind of money is it going to take to get it from you? Because I got to have it. <laughs> uh, I, I have lost all kinds of sleep over this thing. 310 first chapter. But I, I tell you what, you absolutely just made my day beyond belief. You don't you don't understand. We actually found this body, and, and this is no joke. We were within 20 yards of this deer, but you know how tall this this lower bottom gets in the summer. It was still it was still all green when I shot that deer. I was within 20 yards of it, Jesse. No joke. Within 20 yards of this deer. Uh, but you know how tall it is. You almost have to step on them to find them. Outstanding. But well, we could actually see. Uh, I was shooting a Rage Extreme Broadhead. You can actually see uh, the the slice marks in the rib cage between the between the ribs back here. You can actually see where the broadhead went in. Oh, it's outstanding. But, but I, I absolutely just can't. You have no excited how you have no idea how excited I am right now. I mean, just absolutely just made made my year. Um, Okay. All right, buddy. We'll, we'll load up. We'll be that way. All right. See you, buddy. All right, bye. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> you Jesse? Yeah. Ross Mellinger. Yeah. Good to meet you, buddy. I've seen you a few times back there, and I've never got to talk to you. Well, you're, you're right. We're, you're my always wife. jumping off, the, off of that thing, and I'm meeting you on the road or something. Yeah, my wife and I was the only one to hunt that. He gave us the key to it and said, you just treat us like, like it's your own. And, yeah. But, oh, man, you... <laughs> what what would you what you said maybe like, oh it, it was uh, it was pretty impressive. You brought your checkbook, didn't you? Huh? You brought your checkbook. But you just tell me what I got. You tell me what I got to do. Oh, Jesse, I was doing fifteen on that deer. Figure out how old it is. Boy, down. There he is. Yep. He's laying there in this this here, buried in the ground, just like that one. Well, the way he's got that slash on this side right there, that's him. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah he's just about rotted off. I'd always have a machete on the pool hooker. Yeah. I just pulled it up there and hit him a couple of licks and it came off. That's how it was going in a couple of them. And I drove down several times too, you know. And uh, I drove down wow. several times too. And uh, I just come down there one day and just something caught me out of the left, out of my left eye, you know. Mm -hmm. I was, what was that? And I just pulled it in reverse. We're like looking at these jaws that teeth are wore down. And that's the only part that brought in on him. Look at here. You get any birds on you down there hunting for that thing? What's that? You get any birds on you down there hunting for that thing? <laughs> he, walk, he, he almost walked straight to him. I'll really? tell you where, where oh, we yeah. were, when you're down in that valley, mm -hmm. you know, he would have been on the left, that mm -hmm. bank to your right. Oh, yeah? Up on top, you go about 100 yards up on that bank where I was. I come in from the ridge. Oh, yeah? He was, his, well, you knew which way he's headed. It looked like he's headed. He's headed to the creek here. That, yeah. That, that, no, that he's headed back this other way. Huh? He's headed towards the trail. Well, he may, a coyote may have dragged him or something yeah. around there, but yeah. he, he'd come yeah. off that bank and come down that hill. If you look there, there's a there's a, uh, a road yeah. that comes down that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. that come right down that road. Yeah, yeah that, the, this side was laying in, in the ground here. You can see we're still dirty. It's laying in the ground there pretty, like it fell in pretty bad. He might have turned around or something, but this was pointed uphill away from the creek. Wow. Right towards my trail. Wow. And, you know, he wasn't what? Five yard down the trail. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right well, there. when we, we started talking, I'd have never seen him, you know, other than the rain and stuff. You'd have beat that stuff. Well, shoot, that stuff was head high yeah. when he was interlocking, yeah. and. and um... Actually had him at three yards that morning. He couldn't close the deal. We're back in that inning and shot him. We got him back. Rain came in that night and washed everything away. Logan and I, Logan skipped school the next day and I went looking for him. Dolan was in, within 15 yards of him. Here we go. Uh-huh. Yep. That's how we knew for sure it was definitely him, without a doubt. We kind of suspected it was because of the size of the carcass. Oh, oh yeah, yep. Nothing's chewed on him. I mean, it's. Outstanding. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. That's what they say. <laughs>